Hey guys, it's Cobra, and today I'm bringing you to my this chest root video. Okay, basically, I'm gonna be showing you all the chest roots I use on SG4 because I know this map is overplayed to hell. And if you don't have a chest root by now, maybe you could borrow mine. But even though I'm probably like sabotaging myself because now I have more competitors running my route, but you know, I'll do anything to help you guys. So, anyways, um. You probably play this map a bit, so you probably know this map by now. And this is these are the chest routes I run. Um, my first chest route and my main chest route that I like to run ever since the new update is the running the train. And basically, because I don't know, train always gives me good armor and good shit. So I, even though it probably isn't the most powerful route, I tend to use this route a lot, and it has for quite a few tier ones to get me a weapon. So it's quite powerful. You can see, I just run towards the train station, grab this chest here. And a lot of people don't know. I don't know why people don't know about this. It's the most simple way to get a chest. There's actually a hole in the window here. In this glass. And you can just reach through and take that chest. You don't have to actually go inside. Which is quite stupid to be honest. Because you just trap yourself. And then you get out and run the line. Okay, there's only a f When you run this chest, there's only a few things to watch out for. Is that you get trapped in this little wooden area here. Because it's really quite hard to run from here. And the line. When you run the line, um, it's very easy for people to... Um, hit you off, which is when you take a lot of damage and you probably die, you just probably die. So just try and watch yourself because there will be people heading to Cobblestone Tower to the left, which is another chest route of mine. And yeah, if people run there, they may have a fishing rod. I mean, not always. Technically, normally they wouldn't if you run it so early in the map. But yeah, you just watch, you just watch it if you ever want to run. You grab this, okay, first you grab this chest here and then. Okay, I got some nice boots, and then you grab this chest in the carriage. It's both chests are now tier 2, which is really powerful. I mean, makes this chest re really powerful. And this middle chest here, you don't actually have to jump, like, go on the line to get the chest. But, well, since you're on the line, just drop down and get in. Or if not, you can actually reach in from, like, over here. You can just reach, jump, and just grab. It's like a tier 2. So if you don't want to run the line, you can just do that. But, yeah, um, that's my first chest route. And moving on to my second chest route. The second chest route is actually the chest route that, um, the rebel stake. I used to run this a lot, but due to the amount of competition on this route already, not advisable to take. But it's it's quite powerful to be honest. Um, uh, like if you play an AU, the rebels all like oh literally it's all the rebels running. So I I I call it the rebels chest route, and I don't know for some reason it just does really well for me. So if you run this, even nah, just just try not to run this chest route. But if I mean, can prioritize this chest route. If no one's running it. Be damn, be damn well sure to run it, but there is one gigantic problem with this chest route, and that is when you are inside this house, you are in a bloody death trap. You just, if someone comes in with a weapon and you don't have a weapon, and if he gets like a few hits on you, you are so screwed. And this double tier two is why it's worth it. Although I got very shit shit from this chest, if that makes sense. Um, normally it gives you good stuff. So if you get inside this house and you're looting the double tier two, and someone comes in with a weapon, you're basically screwed. So that's why I don't really run this route as. Well. As well as the reason for the, as well as because of competition, and after that I climb up this um radio tower. Normally this is already taken, this radio tower is taken, but this chest is not. You can always check. So this is like the full chest route I run, to add off as many chests as possible. I'm just gonna show you the um, the chest I look out for when I play this map. So I this tier two is like if 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 you don't see anyone climbing up, then you go for it, and then you just see the rest of my chest route. I repeat a lot of the chest like. Um, like at the end of my chest routes, I always use go for the same few chests because basically those chests aren't normally taken, and that's why I like to go for them. Um, especially this this chest right here, which is really I don't know why people don't go for it, but it's the candy van. It's like it's like the most obvious place to put a chest. I don't even know why people don't go for it. Look at the candy van. Look at that. Just go in, get uh, get a chest, and you bam, you're good. Um, it's a tier one, but you know. It, it normally get, get, it gives me a weapon. I know I don't get one here, but yeah. These two chests, like uh, that candy van. Yeah, I love to call it candy van. And um, this brick brick house always normally gives me a weapon. Um, I know I don't get an, any weapon in these two chests, but you know. Yeah, my, 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 my videos prove me on. Anyways, um, and if you ever, ever lack or need a chest like to grab if you oh if you're like lacking in a weapon or something you need s really need to get some spare chest that no one really goes for run this little route here um and not okay, not this route like this the end of my route okay um you run for top of crane this top of crane it used to be a tier two but now it's a tier one and then um oh wait hold on uh 
so it used to be a tier 2 but I don't know why they changed the tier 1 you to do all this parkour to get it normally it's not taken because now it's not worth it so if you ever need a tier 1 you can just come and grab it here you just, just you do the parkour and you just check that corner there and then next you jump down you jump to this place you just you just use half a heart and these three chests in this corner of the map never I, I mean never as in really never ever gets taken and normally it gives you like decent stuff enough to make some um, like let's say iron sword, maybe some f arrows, or if you need a wooden axe or a wooden sword, something just, just some tier ones, just because you you people like stole your chest through or people, I don't know, you just need stuff. You always come this route. This route is pretty damn awesome. This tree chest always never gets looted, and it kind of saves me at times, like, like whenever I just need to find sh weapons and shit like that. Yeah, anyways, guys, um. The reason why I've, I I I'm doing this chess in the first place because I haven't really been playing MCSG in general like recently. I just kind of let's say I, maybe I I just need a breather from it because I play a bit too much of it and then it kind of gets boring for a little bit. Like I don't mean to be bad, but yeah, sometimes the people they're playing they aren't the smartest. Maybe at the time I'm playing, so yeah, that's why I don't play that much. And um, so basically I'm just gonna take a small little. I hate this, and then I'll come back for a while. I mean, I, I still have a lot of gameplay and shit I can do with my the gameplays I have stored. So I you, don't worry, the the videos will still keep coming. I'll play a, f a few games here and there. Anyways, um, this route is it goes to the um, what do you call it? Uh, cobblestone tower, and it's quite powerful. Now they after MCSG V2, they s changed it so that um the the chest on top is a tier 2 which makes it much more worth it to go to last time it was just one tier 2 so i didn't really want to go there because it's not really worth it especially the 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 other tower you know the one that you have to parkour to which it's quite a hassle so i don't really think if last time when it was a tier 1 I, it wasn't worth it this one right here i kind of feel the parkour the first time here which is i mean i should i should edit that out it's just this horrible feel but you know either way <laughs> and um uh, the 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 first parkour is like, like I mean the parkour to the other tower is pretty hard. The, this park this tower this tower the parkour isn't hard at all, but the other one's quite annoying. So like, thank God they changed that to a tier two, so now it's kind of worth it to come here because there's two tier twos. But I don't know for some reason this feels like a tier po two po I mean one point eight or one point seven. It just doesn't feel good. Like every time I grab the chest, doesn't have like really good stuff. Like I get boots and helmet all the time, which to me. A major plus or a major yes is always iron helmet or iron chest plate. No, sorry, iron uh, leggings or iron chest plate or some or gold chest plate, gold anything with a chest plate because I don't know. It seems like it gives more armor at the start, even though uh, okay, I mean it just gives more armor and that's what you want. That's what you. Do, that's what it does. I I prefer that over some like something like helmets or boots where it gives you one bar of armor protection, which doesn't really change that much. I mean it does. It adds up, but yeah. Normally this gives you a little bit. I mean as you can see like I'm half naked. You know, I don't like that. I normally after my my chest route I want to be at least decked as in with or without leather f full leather. I rather I rather full leather than a half deck. Even I just don't know, it just feels better. Um Then uh this chest route uh the amount of not that many chests, but basically I, I did come here for the sake of the tier ones. It's mm. quite worth it. Um I just want the got the tier two. The tier one, as you see, normally gets looted. I don't know why that is looted, or is it the empty chest glitch? But normally the chest is um filled with stuff. I guess people don't normally go for this. This next chest here probably is taken, but it normally doesn't get taken that early. So uh, if you run the chest wheel according to my schedule with or how I run it, you probably will get these chests. And then the the last few then like. Then you just continue your chest from here, you continue your game. Normally you'd be pretty sad you could take out one or two guys and maybe craft an iron sword or two, so you know. By now. And like, I'm just gonna show you a few chests around the area that may or may not be taken. Like this chest is taken. There's a chest on the floor somewhere around here. Right there. And then th there's a chest at the end, um of this corner. And but, but all these chests should give you should be enough for you to get get, get like Semi deck. No, I'm not. I'm. I'm not expecting like really good stuff. But you can have a decent game. You can take out a few people, and you know, and maybe they could give you the stuff you need to win the game. Um, this is my my. I I the like the video is according to the chess route I, the ranking of the chess routes I, run because, like my most run chess run the most the most 
Oh, the most the route that I run the most, okay, is the um, the first the first clip, the first chest route I do, and um followed by the second, third, and fourth because I don't know, I just feel like the my, the first chest route always gives me success. This one not really. I run if my first chest route normally gets taken. No, when you're running halfway on the field and you realize like, damn, too many people are going to the train station, so you just switch it up. And this last chest route here, it's basically when you know that there are pretty good people and like. Um, you kind of know that they, like, I don't know, this route normally doesn't get run uh, after MCSG V2 came out, but it's still quite decent. Um, mm -hmm. You just go into this house and you get, like, the tier, you just go for Radio Tower straight up, because everyone runs straight for, um, what do you call it, that, that, that big boy house, or what do you call it, the double tier 2 house, which can be quite a pain, because if, you, if you're like me, you play in the AU, the whole rival teams go for the that house so it's not really advisable to go for it and in case you see also a lot of people going for the train station you can just run this route this route normally also isn't taken and it's just like a spare route in case it gets populated too much so i kind of like using this route as well sometimes because some guys like some of you guys watch my video and you guys run my route and then it gets kind of annoying but you know i'm here to help you guys so if, if you guys have fun because you can get a better game now. Why not? I I still have, I still have like one more route that I'm not gonna show the people in case every of this four route gets so populated until like I I can't run anymore. I'm just gonna run that route and probably will never post a video of that route because yeah maybe it's it's annoying. I I I, I like it hasn't happened to me yet, but I kind of expect like if I post a video of a chest route, is people I like, just use it and then you know I. Kinda can't run it anymore, but you know, whatever. I I will just post it anyways. Like my Moonlight Lake is still working out fine for me, but I have one spare, tr spare chest route there. I I don't post all my chest routes here because that would be stupid. That would be stupid. So yeah, this route is actually quite powerful. It b basically it's powerful because um you can you can run the spare route I run because the spare route I don't know it just gives me enough stuff to win, and yeah it just it just never gets taken. Just go for it. Just go for it. Just go for it. Um. One more thing I would like to say about SG4 is that it gets overplayed a lot and that's why basically I'm doing this video. It's getting played like crazy. Like SG4 in the maps, like if there's like SG4 on the voting system, basically you see like 10, 12 votes on it. It's quite crazy and then you see the rest of the maps like Kamunra, Asia Games. I actually forget Kamunra, I hate Kamunra. Um, Asia Games, Moonlight Lake, SG2. And for some reason, SG3 is getting voted a lot. I, I don't really like SG3, just for the fact that it's so big and people just hide so much. So yeah, and then you read, oh, and all, like, all in all, people like this kind of small maps. I kind of like it as well. I don't mind SG4. I just don't like Breeze. It's just, because SG4, I don't know, even though it's overplayed, you can't do the shitty water fights like they can they do in Breeze, you know? Like, they can just whip out the bloody shitty... Fishing rod, and then they just fishing out you away. And if you don't have a team, you just can't catch them in water, which is so so stupid. Oh, I, I, I can't say that enough. All right, guys, that's it for the chest route. Thanks so much, guys. I'm so close to 100 subscribers. And if you guys want to see anything special for 100 subs, uh, leave it in the comments. Other than that, I'm Cobra and I'm out. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And peace, 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 whatever. Fuck.